Hi, and welcome to my guide. Today, we're going to be completing the quest called War. There are no quest requirements, and the stat requirements are 10 Hunter, 15 Thieving, 30 Agility, 30 Crafting, and 34 Construction. I just need it. A crafting table 3 in your or someone else's POH, 10 Oak Planks, 10 Steel Nails, Hammer, Spade, Plank, Silk, Steel Bar, 1 Swamp Tar, 5 Feathers, a regular Leather, and a Mahogany Plank, as well as a Raw Card, or a Ring of Keras A. Then for the recommended items, one stamina potion should be enough and because we don't need to fight anything during this quest except for a combat 51, bring along some weight reducing clothing, also a weapon to kill a combat 51, and if you have a low agility level maybe bring along some food because we will need to do an agility course which we can fail and take damage at. And then lastly is also a note pad, which will help us with some memorization during the quest. For the teleports, one teleport to a crafting table number three in any POH, which you have access to, one teleport to the Ardoin Zoo, and then two teleports to a Lumbridge, and then one after the quest is completed. So where to start this quest is right next to the Eagle's Peak quest start. Let's talk to Larry and select option 1. After talking to him, let's talk to him once again and select option 1 twice. Because you already have all the materials and he will send you to the iceberg. Next, go a bit east and you'll find a firm snow patch. Use your oak plank on it to build a shed. Afterwards, you'll need to use your shovel on it to cover it with some snow. Next, let's talk to Larry to start the cutscene and now we'll already need our notepad. During the cutscene, the penguins will be doing three emotes which are random for everyone. There are eight possible options and use your notepad to write down which ones you have. So let's see. This is a clap. I just missed it, didn't I? Uh, shit. All right, I only saw two out of three. So let's click on the snowy bird hide again to restart that cutscene. And this time I will need to pay more attention. Clap, I think. Alright, so I think for me, it is a clap green bow, but that is random for everyone. So once you think you know which emoticons are the penguins greetings, let's talk to Larry and select option 1 or 2, it doesn't really matter at all. Next, go a bit west and then click on the boat to get back to Raleka because he's quite scared that the penguins will overhear the conversation. So here in Raleka, let's talk to Larry. And we'll now need to make our way to a crafting table number three. I have one in my own POH, so that is the fastest way to get there, I think. So I'm gonna get inside of my POH and let's go to crafting table number three. Let's click on it and then select option 1 to make a clockwork mechanism. Then use the crafting table again and select option 3 twice. Unless you've already completed the quest The Great Brain Robbery, which makes it option 4 and then 3. Just make a clockwork toy and then select the suit option. Next, once you have your clockwork suit, let's teleport to Ardoin, to the Ardoin Zoo. And this will also be the final time that you are able to bang, so if you want to bring along some extra food and a weapon to kill a common 51 as well as pass a quite difficult agility course on a low level, then be sure to bang and also grab all of your stuff. And let's go back to Larry at the quest start and let's talk to him. Select option 1 twice. So here on the iceberg, let's talk to Larry and select option 1 or 2, doesn't really matter. 
and then select option 1 to return to the zoo because all the penguins on the iceberg have retreated back into their outpost and to be able to get access or infiltrate their base you'll first need to do some investigations. Be sure to unequip your cape, weapon and shield slot then right click tuxedo time on Larry. This will be the first time out of a lot, out of many. Let's enter the door to enter the penguin pen. Now hover over some penguins until you can talk to one. Talk to that penguin. And now you will need to do the greetings that you have written down in your notepad five minutes ago. So this is random for everyone. For me it was... Once you've done that correctly, the penguin will talk to you. Right, be sure that you keep your notepad open and your three emotes open because we will need to do this a couple of more times. Next, after speaking to the penguin, let's return to Larry and get out of this suit. Right click, tuxedo time. Next, let's talk to Larry. Next, let's teleport to Lumbridge and let's go to the Fred Farms sheep pen, just north of the castle. Next to the entrance of the sheep pen, they will find Larry. Right click on him and then let's do tuxedo time. Next, we will need to hover over every sheep until you found one which you can talk to. Talk to that sheep and then once again do your three emotes. And then you will be able to talk to the disguised sheep. But they will not talk to you because you don't know the secret phrase. So let's return to Larry, tuxedo time. And then talk to Larry and select option 1 and he will teleport you back to the Ardoin Zoo. Next thing you will need is your equipped Ring of Karos A or else a raw card. Then do tuxedo time. And let's talk to the penguin here in the penguin cage again. And select option 1 twice. If you've brought a raw card then I don't really know which options you need to select. Next, since you now know your secret phrase, let's exit the pen, let's exit, let's get out of our suit. Then return to the Lumbridge sheep pen and talk to the disguised penguins. They should be here. Let's talk to them. And you will tell them. Next, let's return to Feta Farmer. Let's get out of this suit once again. Next, we will need to talk to Fred the Farmer inside of his house. You will either need to select option 3 or 4, depending if you have already completed the quest Sheep Share. If you have, it is option number 3. And then afterwards, you can select option 1 or 2, that doesn't really matter at all. Oh, Fred the Farmer is this one. After speaking to him, let's return to Larry, let's get back in our clockwork suit. 
Now let's talk to the disguised penguins again for the final time to get our mission reports. Select option 2, that Fertile Farmer is harmless. Now what I forgot to do is, once you have your mission reports, exit your penguin suit and let's get some cowbell. You can get that at any dairy cow in the game. The closest one where we are currently would be the one just east. So cross the bridge and let's go to Millie. I think it's Millie? No, it's not Millie. And let's go to the dairy cow next to Millie. Is it Millie? Oh, it's Gilly. All right, let's right click on the dairy cow, steal the cowbell. Ah, what the fuck? Try again. I didn't even know you could fail these. All right, once you have your cowbells, you will need these later. Let's return to Larry, select option one, and he should take us back to the iceberg. Larry option one we are done here in Lumbridge now we just need to do the iceberg part of this quest and then we are done right let's do a right click on Larry tuxedo time and then run northwest northwest you'll find two penguins the one called noodle and a kbg per and a kpg agent We'll need to talk to that agent and he will not let us inside of the outpost. But be sure to do your three emotes first. One, two, three. And you've told the password, but you don't have a ID card. So let's talk to the second NPC called Noodle. After the conversation is over, talk to him again and select option one to provide him the stuff to make a ID card. Let's talk to the KPG agent again to show him the ID. Next, go a bit north and you'll find an avalanche. Go stand on the western side of it and then click on it to enter the hideout. Next, enter the first room west. And let's talk to that KPG agent inside. After you've spoken to him, you will need to do an agility course to test your stamina. So let's continue running west after speaking to him. Open the door and then exit going north. Once you open the door, you will see a weird camera angle, but this is not a cutscene. Just look at your minimap and follow the icy path north. Keep going north until you see a checker line. Go across it and you should be teleported inside of the water. This is the start of the penguin agility course. The first obstacle is pretty easy. These are just ice crushers. Just move past them. Just north of the last northern ice crusher, they will find a stepping stone. Click on it to climb and then climb just east. But from this, you can easily fail. Then we go north. If you fail, you will jump into the water, go back to the start and try again. Then two times east, and that's already a fail. If you fail, just go back to the start and try again. So it is east, north, double east, and then triple north. Uh, one, two, yeah, triple north there we go next let's follow the Aussie path to the northwestern corner there we should find some icicles which we can treat click on them to treat softly and follow the path and do this two or three more times ow fail just try again There we go. And then for the final obstacle is simply some ice that we will need to cross. Stand on the center of the hill. Just keep going south, trying to climb the hill.
Ow, what the fuck? Don't click on the same tile you're already at. That would be stupid. Until you can't go any further, then take one tile west. And from there, keep going south. And once you've made it to the top, you will gain 180 agility experience and you will also slide down this icy slope. And this will be the end of the agility course. Right, let's talk to the agility instructor because we're now done. Next, let's go to our equipment and remove our penguin suit to have a quick teleport back to Larry. Right, let's talk to Larry. After we have given him some reports what we have done, right click and tuxedo time. And now we'll need to enter the outpost for the final time. If you already have your cowbells in your inventory. So let's return to the avalanche next to the KBG agent. Stand on the western side of it. Because if you just click on it, ah, oh, the character does it automatically now. They changed it, I think. Right, once you are in the outpost, go north. Until you can't go any further because there is a closed gate. West of it, they'll find a control panels and a KBG agent. Talk to that agent and he will not let you go through these doors. So go a bit south and enter the first room east. They'll find two penguins. Talk to either of them. And they will want two musical instruments, which they can use without the need of hands or fingers. The first one you already got, which are the cowbells. But for the second one, let's unequip our clockwork suit and let's talk to Larry. And he will teach us how to make bongos, which requires a mahogany plank as well as some regular leather. Next, let's use some leather on the mahogany plank, then right click on Larry Tuxedo Time. Let's bring these two instruments, the cowbells and the bongos, to ping and pong. And then we have almost completed our quest. No, then it is time for our boss fight. Talk to Ping and Pong and select option 2. This will trigger a cutscene. Once the cutscene is over, let's go north and let's return to the control panel. Use it to open the door, then let's go northeast and enter that eastern room. This will trigger a shortcut scene of you getting caught and put in prison. Once in the prison, simply kill one icicle throwing ice lord to be able to exit this prison. Once you have killed an archer, let's go to the western side of the prison, open the door, because apparently it is not locked or something. Let's go east, and there you'll find a chasm. Go through it, 
and then return to Larry to complete our quest. So congratulations, you've completed the Gold War quest. You are awarded with 2000 crafting experience, 5000 agility and 1500 construction experience. Also, you now have the ability to use the Penguin Agility course, which currently has the highest chance of receiving a giant squirrel pet. And also, you've completed a quest requirement for making friends with my arm. And this was my guide how to complete the Cold War quest. Hopefully it has helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. You don't need the KGP ID card as well as the clockwork book. Okay, thanks, bye.